Mighty Money London 2016. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. With me here is now in the Masca Lithium, the next yeah, Canadian lithium producer, and Kiporasa, the CEO and president, yeah, will give us an insight into his terrific company. Ki, welcome. Good afternoon. <laughs> Nemaska Lithium, what's the company about lithium? Okay, for sure, but where are you working? What are you doing? Well, first, we're based in Canada, province of Quebec. Very mining friendly jurisdiction. Absolutely. Hard rock lithium project vertically integrated from the mine to the final lithium salts, hydroxide and carbonate. Mm -hmm. Great. So in what status you are? Of course, you uh, have done already a, a, um, a pre-feasibility study. You will do the feasibility, as I got that right. No, we, we did a feasibility study in 2014. Good. We updated in 2016. Yeah. And we're going to have another update in January of 2017. Uh, oh. following the recent uh, uh, infill drilling that we've completed that mm -hmm. will increase most likely the life of mine. But where we are currently because of the second feasibility study we are currently building a demonstration plant mm -hmm. a small commercial plant 500 ton a year mm -hmm. it's going to be commissioned in Q1 of 2017 to fulfill one of the commercial agreements that we signed with Johnson Matty battery materials. Mm -hmm. We're going to be treating some sulfate from them for them and we're also going to be producing small commercial samples for uh, mine representative samples to qualify the product with other potential clients. Mm -hmm, fantastic. That's a pilot plan, but then you want to scale that up for the future for sure. Uh, but can you give us maybe some ideas about the feasibility study, some numbers? What, where are the costs? Where do you see potential margins? Well, currently we are uh, fully permitted to mine 1.1 million ton of ore per year gives about 213,000 ton of concentrate and finished product 28,000 ton LCE, both mm. hydroxide and carbonate. The lowest cost production of hydroxide on earth versus anybody else below $3,000, roughly $2,400 US for high battery grade, high purity lithium hydroxide. 99.99 mm -hmm. wow. lithium carbonate, around $3,000 US. And that's all in cost or is that no, the, that's the, the production cash cost? cost the cash, okay. cost, cash cost. If we talk about all in cost, because this is what finally, uh, let's say, defines the yes. margin for the company, where yeah. are we there? Oh, uh, you could add about uh, $1,500 per ton. Okay, still yeah. decent, still yeah, very yeah, decent. Yeah. Um, I saw in one of your press releases you have sold already in 2018 50% approximately of your coming commercial production. Um, can you give us an idea at what prices you have sold or is that confidential? No, that's confidential. Okay. What I can say is we sold uh, for about four years 8,000 ton a year of carbonate mm -hmm. with uh, FMC Corporation that was disclosed in the press release. Mm -hmm. uh, we also signed a commercial uh, agreement for sale with Johnson Matty mm -hmm. with, for carbonate and hydroxide, but I cannot disclose okay. other terms. Okay, good, no problem. Um, so I guess uh, this was uh, yeah, also for the financing of the next stages uh, for, for your plant increase, of course. Um, How is the company cashed up now so far? Well, we uh, for the phase one plant, the yeah. overall budget was $28 million. This is completely financed. No, not. 28, 38 million dollars completely mm -hmm. financed. Mm -hmm. So phase one plan is currently being built. We have two years of cash flow to operate it. So that's good. Wow. Now the capex, according to the feasibility study of 2016 for the commercial sites was 549 million Canadian. Mm -hmm. We recently raised 69 million dollars by a short form prospectus in July of 2016. Mm -hmm. We earmarked 50 million dollars to start work for the commercial a portion of our project. Mm -hmm. So we're currently building the foundations and the building for the concentrator, the large commercial concentrator, mm -hmm. uh, installing permanent access road at the mine site and uh, being prepared to install equipment when we complete the project financing, which we estimate will be in Q1 of 2017. Mm -hmm. Great. So it's a project financing then for the rest? Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Great. Um, if we look at Quebec, you said that you are Quebec, of course, yes. and it's a great mining jurisdiction. How do they support you? Well, they supported us uh, from the start uh, with uh, fiscal advantage on the flow-through shares when we were at the exploration stage. Uh, most of the Quebec-funded specialized exploration funds were buying shares on our company, so supporting the, its development. When we uh, went out to finance the phase one plan, $38 million, mm -hmm. we got uh, $3 million non-refundable subsidy from the Quebec government, wow. $13 million from the federal government. Mm -hmm. 
So $16 million out of 38 on non-refundable subsidies. It's a nice amount of money. Yes, and uh, we received recently confirmation by the Quebec government that they would support to a level of about $125 million mm -hmm. the, the cash needed for the project financing. Mm -hmm. So that's the, a good end uh, to help us close that financing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, fantastic. Um, so also in, the, in your, one of your last two studies, you uh, already claimed some more patents on your, let's say, technology. Yes. Can you elaborate a little bit about your, about your technological advantages you have and well, why you have also patented that? Yes, we will. We have uh, decided a couple of years ago, well, five years ago, that we were going to be making lithium hydroxide directly from lithium sulfate instead of going the conventional Chinese route of making carbonate, then making hydroxide, reprocessing it. Mm -hmm. We decided, let's use hydroelectricity, which is affordable and available in Quebec, long-term supply agreement, less than five cents a kilowatt hour for years. Mm -hmm. So uh, we decided to use hydroelectricity. Then we adapted a known technology of membrane electrolysis that has been used for decades in much, much larger quantities for chlor alkali industry. So what we did, we changed and adapted known equipment mm -hmm. to to process sulfate solution. That's the first time it's going to be done on a commercial basis. Okay. So we did patent the process of impurity removal ahead of the membrane electrolysis cells. We patented, obviously, treating sulfate through electrolysis to have lithium hydroxide solution at the end. And we also patented the fact of making lithium carbonate out of lithium hydroxide. Usually it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. So we have about, uh, I think, 35 patents that are pending three that have been granted in the States and in Canada. Mm -hmm. And obviously we, had, uh, we evolved them to PCTs around the world. Mm -hmm. Great. And how does this then affect directly your production costs? Why, 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 why does it make your process cheaper? Well, it gives us a better handle on the cost structure. Because mm -hmm. in the conventional process you need soda ash as a reagent. Soda ash, you cannot mm -hmm. buy that on, uh, on terms. Yeah. You only buy that on the spot and you pay the price on the invoice. Okay. And if you're not satisfied, you don't, don't have soda ash. So that's a big chunk of yeah. the cost structure of lithium carbonate as the, 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 the lead um, salt to make the lithium hydroxide afterward. Mm -hmm. So we remove from the equation the soda ash and we replace this reagent by natural reagent, greenest, hydroelectricity. So mm -hmm. you have a better cost handle on this, mm -hmm. you have a better quality of product, mm -hmm. and that helps. And it's also greener. Absolutely. Very <laughs> so important these yeah, days. I would say that's a very good selling argument, isn't yes. it? Yeah, fantastic. Um, concerning um, lithium demand, I think we all know e-mobility is on the verge. It's the trend. It's unstoppable, yep. I would say. Absolutely. Um, also, we have like the Giga factory from Tesla, but there's much, much more like Mercedes, uh, BMW, etc. more to come. How do you rate for the next years? What is your personal view as a producer? The lithium demand grow? Oh, I see 25-30% uh, growth for the next four or five years, mm -hmm. not stopping. I think that uh, there's a big shortage that uh, is facing the actual uh, gigafactories. Mm -hmm. They don't, they have not expected to have a shortage in the supply. Mm -hmm. And the actual producers have not seen that demand coming. Mm -hmm. So we're already late in trying to get new production capacity online mm -hmm. to meet that demand. Yeah. According to our numbers, we need a new 200,000 ton lithium carbonate equivalent to the market by 2021. Mm -hmm. Currently, last year, the total production of all included lithium salts mm -hmm. was 180,000 ton. That's so a, you that's need more to, than a double. Absolutely. Wow. And the actual producers cannot meet that demand. That's impossible. So even your 28,000, which sounds but yeah. the terms today like a lot, yeah. is uh, just a drop on the market. It's going to be 9, 10% it? when we get to the market. Yeah. Okay, I see. Um, as we don't have a spot price for lithium, of course, it's all contracted. Yes. Yeah, because it's a chemical product, by the, finally. You don't see, of course, any drop in the prices so far. It's, maybe they can rise a bit further, right? Well, the, it has raised, raised a bit, uh, well, a lot in the past uh, 18 months. Mm -hmm. It seems to be stabilizing, which is, makes sense. Uh, the, the contract price seems to be around 10,000 for carbonate, 14,000 for hydroxide. Mm -hmm which is very good. It was 5,000 and 7,000 a year ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, we think it's going to remain at least at this level. Mm, at least. So that gives you a decent margin for the future. Absolutely. 
perfect. But last question, what is the initial mine life and where do you think you can bring it? Uh, initial mine life uh, to the last feasibility study is 26 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, with all the drilling, the 17,000 ton we just recently completed, numbers are going to be out uh, by a third party in a couple of days, mm. but I do suspect that we will significantly increase the mine life. Okay, so, so you have a long uh, yeah, future living and mine production We will production be, we will be a long, reliable, safe supplier of, uh, of uh, lithium salts. Exactly, and it comes directly from Canada, that's important. Absolutely. Lovely, I like that. Thank you very much and My all pleasure. the best. We keep fingers crossed and we want to see a good production than in the future. Here we just <laughs> keep finger crossed. We don't cross our arms. That's we good. keep going yeah, ahead. Because you need them to work. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Guy Borassa, the president and CEO of uh, Nemaska Lithium. And yeah, you heard it. The company is fully on track, going full throttle into production. The uh, pilot plant is up and running yeah, in Q1 next year with 500 tons by now. But uh, it's, uh, as far as I understood, like a modular build up and uh, they can go up to 28,000 tons then in the future, let's say from uh, end of 2017, beginning 2018. And uh, the company is well positioned, has a lot of cash already in the bank, project finance is running. Check it out, that's the next producer for lithium, which is really needed out of Canada. Bye bye from London.